Uh, we are, we're sitting out here on the backyard and we got two dogs. And I love dogs. We used to have dogs when I was a kid. We had cats one time, we had 26 cats. And of course we never had to take care of them, they sort of took care of themselves. But it was fun to have them. And uh, uh, I, I'm reminded here, now we have this beautiful, beautiful dog. Both of her parents came from Wales, a Welsh sheep dog. And I remember hearing about the Welsh sheep dogs when I was just little. And they were so smart. And they could be taught, now they would, they would teach them, the Welsh shepherds would teach them how to take care of the sheep. And they would do it by words. And the Welsh language was very good at that. They would give them words, the dogs, how to go. They would also whistle like this and give them whistle sounds. But then what happens if it's windy and you can't hear the dogs? And the dogs can't hear. Then they had the dogs learn how to take arm signals. And I forget just how it went. It was something like this, to go this way, they wanted to go this way, this way. Two dogs, 3,000 sheep, one man. One man with two dogs would make 3,000 sheep go just where he wanted. But all that impressed me very much how smart the sheep were, the dogs were, the dumb the sheep were dumb, the dogs, how smart they were. But the story that, that always used to get me when I was little is what they happened to the dogs after they were about six years old. They took the dogs out and shot them. And the reason they shot them is because dogs, after they got to be a certain age, if one of the sheep would injure itself in any way, especially if there were blood, that dog would start to get a taste of that blood and as the saying goes, would turn into a wolf. And the wolf and the, that one dog, that nice, gentle, but beautifully intelligent dog, would in one night's time kill a hundred sheep. Not for the meat, obviously, but just, and the, the, the you're very, very aware that animals really are descendants of wolves.